This video is intended solely for educational purposes to raise awareness about social engineering and cybersecurity, specifically focusing on understanding the tool ZFisher. Social engineering is a deceptive tactic used to manipulate individuals into divulging confidential or personal information that can be used for fraudulent purposes. It involves exploiting human psychology rather than relying on technical hacking techniques. Attackers use various methods to trick their targets into providing sensitive data, such as passwords, financial information, or access to secure systems. These methods can include phishing emails, pretexting, baiting, and tailgating, among others. The success of social engineering lies in its ability to exploit the natural tendencies of human trust and curiosity making it a highly effective and dangerous form of cyber attack. Understanding social engineering is crucial in developing effective defenses against these types of threats. Understanding social engineering is crucial in the context of cybersecurity because it targets the human element, often considered the weakest link in security systems. Despite advanced technological defenses, even the most secure systems can be compromised through manipulation and deception of individuals. Social engineering attacks, such as phishing and pretexting, exploit human psychology to gain unauthorized access to sensitive information, bypassing technological safeguards. By comprehending how these tactics work, individuals and organizations can better recognize, prevent, and respond to potential threats. This knowledge empowers users to be vigilant, practice safe online behaviors, and implement robust security measures, ultimately strengthening the overall cybersecurity posture. If you want to learn more about cyber attacks more in depth, so we have uploaded already a brief video on this channel. Cyber Attacks Full Guide What an Hacker Can Do, which will cover all types of cyber attacks existing on internet. Please check out after finish this video. I hope you will learn something new. Before deep dive into the tool please, subscribe to our channel, it not only shows your support but it also fuels our passion to bring you even more amazing content, thank you so much. Phishing is a subset of social engineering that involves tricking individuals into revealing sensitive information, such as login credentials or financial details, by pretending to be a trustworthy entity. Common phishing tactics include email phishing, where attackers send fraudulent emails that appear to come from legitimate sources, spear phishing, which targets specific individuals or organizations with personalized messages and whaling, which focuses on high-profile targets like executives by using sophisticated and highly personalized approaches. Zfisher is a powerful open-source phishing tool. It became very popular nowadays and is used to do phishing attacks on target. Zfisher is easier than Social Engineering Toolkit. It contains some templates generated by the tool called Zfisher and offers phishing templates web pages for 33 popular websites such as Facebook, Instagram, Google, Snapchat, GitHub, Yahoo, ProtonMail, Spotify, Netflix, LinkedIn, WordPress, Microsoft, and many others. It also provides an option to use a custom template if someone wants. This tool makes it easy to perform a phishing attack. Using this tool you can perform phishing in wide area network. This tool can be used to get credentials such as username and password and others informations like IP address and other target informations. We will only demonstrate how phishing works. You shall not misuse the information to gain unauthorized access to someone's social media. However, you may try out this at your own risk. We will try at our own server, which we are own. Installation. Now let's open up Kali Linux and we will install Zfisher tool. It is not pre-installed in Kali Linux. We will install it from GitHub repository. First thing first, update your Kali Linux operating system. It's not mandatory, but keeping update it's very important in this field. You can also full upgrade, but it's not required for this tool. If you have time, let it begins. After done update, now open up browser and type Zfisher tool from GitHub page. Go to the first link. Now you can select for Zfisher tool and installation page will be open. Now here we can copy code from it and pass it in terminal along with git clone to clone tool repository into your terminal. 
First select desktop folder path with CD command, then pass link and hit enter. After successfully copied all file into the terminal, type ls, you will see the zfisher directory down below. Now type cd to change directory into zfisher. Now type ls. Here you can see file name zfisher ends with .sh. This tool is written in bash so type bash along with this file and hit enter. Now the tool will be going to install in Ukali Linux. Now it's installing Cloudflare services also. Cloudflare are used to simplify and enhance the process of phishing by providing secure tunneling and masking techniques. Cloudflare is employed to offer free, secure tunneling services that help conceal the phishing page's origin, adding a layer of anonymity and protection against direct attacks on the hosting infrastructure. On the other hand, it will help creates a secure tunnel to localhost, allowing the phishing page to be accessed over the internet without complex port forwarding configurations. These methods effectively avoid the traditional and often cumbersome method of manual port forwarding, making the phishing setup more straightforward and accessible for users. Now our tool is fully installed and ready to use. Let's play with it. As you can see, it's provided 33 different websites to launch phishing attacks on it. Remember that we will only demonstrate how phishing works. You shall not misuse the information to gain unauthorized access to someone's social media account. Now you have to choose the options from the tool for which you have to make the legitimate phishing page. From these options, you can choose the number for which you have to create a phishing page. Suppose you want to create a phishing page for Instagram, then choose option 2. Or you can choose any number what you want. Now you can see that these options are used to attract the victim. It is giving four different web templates. You can choose any option from here. Suppose you want to choose the first option, then type 1 and hit enter. Now you have three options which will be creating a tunnel through this service. Select second one, which is cloud flared, and hit enter. Now the tool asks for custom port number, if you want to give some specific port number then type Y, or if not then type N, it will select default port number like 8080. Now it will appear with change mask option, which will allow users to customize the URL of the phishing link, making it appear more legitimate and less suspicious to potential victims. This option did not work I have tried earlier simple hack is full upgrade your Kali Linux, and then install tool. If you want to mass type Y in terminal and hit enter, now you can type specific name you want to mask. I'm going to type upgrade security testing.com. Now hit enter, we are good to go. Now link will be generated. Now I want to tell you one thing I did not use my mask link because it's not working properly. I will copy first link which will working and use it. You have to give a try second one if it's appear complete link to your terminal. Now linked copied open up browser and go to new tab past it in the search bar. Now you can see we will be redirected to Instagram website type username and password of your account here and click for login. As you can see we did not log into Instagram. Let's back to our terminal here we can see username and password captured in the terminal. Now we can open up our informations which will capture through phishing technique type ls. Here you can see directory called authcd into directory. Type ls again. Here you have username file. Open it with cat command. Type cat along with file name and hit enter. As you can see our username is upgrade security and password is thanks for watching. This is it for this video guys. Remember, hacking can be a powerful tool for learning and improving security. But always use your skills responsibly and ethically to protect and educate, not harm. Thanks for watching this video. Show your support by hitting the subscribe button today and do not forget to like, share and comment down below. See you in the next one.